Number 78. Small office building air conditioner operates on 408 volts of alternating current and consumes 50 kilowatts. What is its effective resistance? All right, so they got voltage, we got watt power, we need to find resistance. So what's the formula? Well, it's simply power is going to be equal to voltage squared over resistance. Solve this bad boy for resistance, so just do your little cross multiplication. And now all we have to do is plug in the values. Make sure you got the right units, though. So the voltage was given in volts, so that's simple, 408 squared. Then divided them by the power, careful that's in kilowatts, so simply take the 50 and multiply it by 10 raised to the third. Okay, and that's now going to be the effective resistance. So 408 squared divided by then 50 times 10 uh, to the third. So 3.2, uh, uh, excuse me, 3.33, I guess, or so ohms. All right, that is the resistance. All right, now it says, what is the cost of running the air conditioner during a hot summer month when it is on eight hours per day for 30 days and electricity cost this? Okay, so total cost, we've developed this formula already, is going to be the cost per joule, divided, multiply them by the number of joules being used. So the cost per joule, they gave us the cost per kilowatt hour. I don't like that. I'm going to convert that on out. So it's simply going to be nine cents per kilowatt hour. Multiplied then by kilowatt hour, joule on the bottom. For every one kilowatt hour, this is a known conversion, 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. And then what I want to do also is I want to convert that into dollars. So put the cents on the bottom, dollars on the top. There's 100 cents on the dollar. So this will be then 9, 9 divided then by, 9 then divided by, 3, 3.6 times 10 to the 6th. Multiply them by 100. So this is 2.5 times 10 to the minus eight, right? So uh, the cost here is gonna be 2.5 times 10 to the minus eight. That's then going to be dollars per joule. Okay, so we got that. Now I just need to figure out the number of joules. Uh, so um, what we can do now is we have to, in order to do this, we have to know the power that's being supplied and they told that to us, 50 kilowatts, right? That's being consumed. So remember, so I'm just gonna erase all this, okay? So 50 kilowatts is equivalent to 50 times 10 to the three watts. Remember, watt is known as a joule per second. The reason why that's important is because now I realize that I have a time value here. And if I can just somehow cancel these seconds or figure out how many seconds this thing was run for, then I can just find my answer in joules. Or what I could do is convert this joules per second into joules per like hour, and then multiply that by then the number of days. There's a whole bunch of ways to look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it that way just because that's the way I have it set up. So seconds on the top, we're gonna go to hour, uh, minutes. Well, actually we'll go to hours next, all right? We know that conversion, right? 3,600 seconds now in an hour. So seconds go bye-bye. If I stop my conversion, I'd be left with joules per hour. I don't wanna know joules per hour. Well, I, I do, but I don't wanna stop there, right? So I have my joules per hour. Now what I'm gonna do is I gotta figure out how many hours it's being run. Well, it tells us it's eight hours per day. So that means what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my eight hours on the top and then one day on the bottom. Obviously there's not eight hours in a day, but the thing is being run for eight hours in a day. So that's the reason why I have the eight there. So the hours would go bye-bye. Now this would tell me how many joules are being consumed per day, but I don't wanna know per day. What do I wanna know? I wanna know over a total of 30 days. So simply multiply this now by 30 days. And look what's gonna be canceled now. The days go bye-bye, and what I'm left with now is just the total number of joules. How beautiful is that, right? So 50 times 10 to the three multiplied by 3,600, multiplied by eight, and then by 30. And we're gonna get a value of about 4.32. So 4.32 times 10 to the 10 joules. And now, bada bing, plug it on in. So four. So 4.32 times 10 to the 10. The total cost then will be just multiply those two values together. So let's go in the calculator, enter, enter, use the exact values, and we come out to be 1,000. Wow, $80. All right, so that's the total cost, all right? So um, don't run your AC unit if you want to save money. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll appreciate it very much, and we'll see you soon.